Hi everyone, it's week 23 of the 52 week project. Uh, this is going to be a really, really quick video. Everything I'm going to do here is in camera raw. Um, uh, this, this is a uh, red bellied woodpecker. Um, Alright, we'll open up in here in camera raw. Uh, I had him at the feeder the other day and I set up the camera remotely and uh, this way I didn't have to be too close and I wouldn't scare him off and I uh, zoomed in to uh, 200 millimeter and uh, when he came to the feeder I just fired off the trigger and uh, it just so happened that it rotated around and this patch of light right here just flew right onto his face I thought it was perfect um, really illuminated its eye and everything so Okay, enough uh, enough talk. Uh, gonna uh, crop this image down, get rid of all the clutter. Um, first off, I'm gonna click and hold down on here and make sure that I have the four to five ratio set, so the box will always stay within that uh, constraint. And uh, I'll lower this down, kind of get rid of those clothespins that you see there. Uh, I think that's pretty good right there. I'm just going to hit enter, keypad enter. And uh, that brings us right in on the uh, on the woodpecker. And it brings your eye in. Alright, first thing uh, is to increase the exposure. Um, uh, I think that looks pretty good right there. And now that I kind of lost some detail in around the eye over here, so I'm going to bring the highlights down. Bring that back in a bit. Right, right around, right around there. And uh, bring up the overall white there. clip too much. Uh, as you can see up here, um, this is showing that since it's red, it's actually clipping in the red channel. So when I click it, you can see this is where the colors are are, uh, are clipping. Um, I'm going to push it a little higher. You can see it just turned white. And click that, and now it's clipping in multiple channels. So I'm going to bring that back down. And keep going up and it just turned red at around plus seven on the uh, on the white but you really can't see the clipping in there so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little bit more on that let's go around there even though it looks like you know it's clipping in the numbers over here it you, you, you can't really notice it inside the actual image itself so I'm okay with that uh, same thing with this end, it's, it's clipping in the magenta channel, which is this tiny bit of black down over here. So, uh, that's that's okay, let it go to black, I don't, I don't mind. I'm actually going to add more to it anyway, and bring those blacks down. Uh, say right around there. I think that looks pretty good. Um, that's that's pretty much all that needs to be done. I mean, we don't have to play around with color temperature or anything. I mean, if you really wanted to, you can increase the the the, sat the vibrance, I should say, lower the saturation a bit and increase the vibrance uh, just just by a little bit. But uh, I don't know if I like that. I think I'm going to leave it default. Just double click these sliders here. By the way, this is the uh, Camera Raw Eight. Uh, it's just updated either yesterday or today. I don't remember which one, but that's uh, what I'm using. So um, it reset all the settings that I had in here. So I'm going to re click this little link to make sure that it would open up as a smart object. So I just clicked on this. And I also had to change my color space because it was set to Adobe RGB, which is in 1998. And I had to set it to the sRGB. Um, normally, I uh, bring into Photoshop as 16-bit, but I'm 
I'm going to bring it in at 8 bit right now because it's, I'm not going to be doing any editing other than a quick sharpen inside uh, Photoshop. So I'm just going to open it up as an 8 bit and open the object here. And it opens up in Photoshop. And the heavens just seem to have opened up. It's pouring outside right now, so I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Um, all right, so now we're in Photoshop. I'm just going to go up to the Filter menu and go to Smart Sharpen. Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. And in this dialog box, I'm going to go right over to the eye because that's always the, um, the subject of our, uh, or the, the, the focal point of our image. Um, as you can see, I just brought that up. Uh, you can see the radius that brings this wacky halo in here. I'm just going to bring it back until that halo kind of goes away. And uh, the amount is pretty high, but I'm going to turn that down. Bring it down so the uh, that noise starts to disappear. Um, I didn't notice before, but I got a little little chromatic aberration there. I think that's not too noticeable in the uh, the other picture there, so... Uh, probably best would be to try and get rid of it in camera raw. Um, I think that looks good for the sharpening. I'm going to hit OK. And double click this here. And put it to luminosity, just to be sure that it doesn't change any of the colors in the image. Um, and that that's it. Um, I'm going to go to full screen here. We'll cancel. And we'll zoom in, and that's it. Uh, sorry for the short, short video. It's uh, really fast there, but um, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next week.